Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Claxton. I'm Director of Plant Breeding here at Toza Seeds. I'm standing in front of our kale trial, and you can see quite a lot of diverse different types of kale in the trial. Green curly kale, Cavallo Nero, speciality coloured kales and buttonhole kales. So we'll be walking through it in a minute to look at some of the speciality varieties and focusing particularly on our new Cavallo Nero breeding. So this variety is Raven, which is our first F1 hybrid Cavallo Nero. We have full commercial availability of this variety at the moment. The advantage of F1 hybrid with Cavallo Nero is that old varieties were all open pollinated and that caused them to be pretty variable in plant height, leaf shape, leaf colour, which caused big problems in harvesting. Raven, being an F1 hybrid, is so much more uniform in plant habit. They're all the same height. The leaves are identical between plants, really nice dark colour. They're quite resistant to wind rub as well, so that you don't get the scarring in high winds that is often prevalent on Cavallo Nero. And the other big advantage of Raven, it seems to be much more cold tolerant than traditional Cavallo Nero, which you generally can't grow in the UK after Christmas. This seems to have much more cold resistance, so it gives much more flexibility for the grower. So this is our second F1 hybrid variety that we've released, and it's called Mamba, coded TZ6382. The advantage of this variety over Raven is that it's got a much wider leaf and so it's really suitable for processing and shredding markets. So whereas Raven was kind of more for a fresh whole head, this is more of a processing shredding variety. Really good weight per plant, so excellent yields and superb uniformity across the crop again because it's an F1 hybrid, really good vigour and really good weight per plant. So you're getting a lot of shredded product out of each plant. This has proved really popular and we've actually sold out of commercial seed at the moment, but we still have trial seed available and we have a new crop coming in next year. So this is our first green curly kale F1 hybrid and it's called Aaron, coded TZ6379. This variety has commercial availability now and is really suitable as a bunching variety. You can see the morphology of the leaves is, makes it really suitable. The, the long leaf with the long petiole makes it very good as a bunching variety, but it also can be used for shredding as well. So this is TZ5452, which is a hybrid red Russian type. It's one of the first varieties out of our speciality coloured kale breeding. You can see that the colour on the leaves is developing quite nicely. This develops more intensely as the weather gets colder. It's also got a really nice texture. And this is an example of some of the innovations we're making on kale, where we're trying to develop a product that suits modern cooking techniques. So you can actually stir fry, lightly steam, or even eat this product raw because it's milder and sweeter than traditional kales. So this is another variety from our speciality coloured kale breeding. It's coded TZ0271, and we call it a kind of a red seaweed kale. And the reason we call it that is because it, when you shred it and deep fry it, it looks and tastes like Chinese fried seaweed that you get from the Chinese takeaway. Really, really nice. The colour develops more intensely as the weather gets colder. So it becomes, starts off this red tinged colour and becomes deep red as the uh, weather gets colder. Um, again, really nice flavour and really good texture and bag fill when uh, cut and makes a really nice product for stir fry, deep fry even, uh, microwave and for salads. So keep an eye out for our four new trial varieties which will be available later this year, Cobra, Galaxy, Falcon and Ebony. Um, they all have different plant heights and habits just to suit different grower requirements. So it'd be great to get some feedback on our new material that's coming through. So as you can see, we've got lots of new trial varieties coming through in the cow breeding. So be sure to request trial seed of any of these new varieties we've been talking about and keep an eye on any of new developments for our social media channels. So we're really trying to innovate kale to suit modern cooking techniques such as stir fry and steam and even eating it raw in salads to really reinvent it as a product for the modern consumer.